Hey up peeps, welcome back to Old Yorkshire Git Tries, Final Fantasy 14 part 162, I've forgotten, I've, it's gone, my brain's gone again, oh, bloody hell, bit nipped today, well it is here, got a bit of change from last week, sorry about that, just need me fix, right we've got to speak with Yogi. Let's get the thing working. There we go. Well, I think I managed to sort that buzzing out. I looked at yesterday's recording. Don't seem to be picking it up. Um, used a noise filter on the Varvi. Oops, a noise. Uh, it was a noise something. Uh, I altered that and it seems to have got rid of it. Turn that. There we go. Right. Why are you not working? Come on, the controller turned itself off. There we go. Oh, Forever the professional. <laughs> oh dear. Did notice though the volume was a bit quiet. Uh, I've got everything turned up to max now, so. We'll see how it goes. Fine work, Albert. You have a gift for the ways of the shinobi. The way is clear. Let us move closer and see what has become of the villagers. Oh, that's right. I was doing the old... Uh... The blow dart thing. Ah, there she is. She's appeared. Castrum flum flum fluminis flumines. Well, I hope you're keeping all right. Sir, the aunt forgot what to do. They forgot what to do, sir. Sir, the aunt from the other villages are still for inspection. Oh God, it's gonna be one of them fucking days today. I can tell. Very good. I will address them personally. Attention. Shortly, you all will be transported to the facility on the distant shore. Your duties, as you've been previously informed, will be rudimentary in nature. More specifically, you will be tasked with the repair and maintenance of various arms and armaments as well as Magitech devices. Magitech, but we're farmers, we don't know the first thing about Magitech. It'd take us months, if not years, to learn how to do that kind of work. The material in question was damaged when your kith and kin rose up in rebellion, therefore you bear responsibility for its repair. If you cannot perform your duties, you will learn how, and if you cannot learn how, then your villagers may find themselves at the mercy of the confederacy and other radical elements. Is that what you want? Deal with this rabble, I am needed at the castle. lead by fear this is no temporary measure those men and women will die in servitude once they are taken to the other facility it will be too late if we are to intervene we must do, do, do so now agreed uh, then let us be about it oh, they some gloves won't they oh yeah I'll take them do -do, do -do. Set. Despite the urgency of the situation, we must still proceed with the utmost caution to ensure the safety of the villagers. To it, we must infiltrate the castrum without raising the alarm. 
I will deal with any soldiers near the entrance. Stand watch for others approaching from the north until you hear my signal. Stand watch for Imperial Guards. Before I do anything, I keep forgetting this, don't I? Inventory, orange juice, and all them points I missed yesterday. Glittering Basin. Surveying. I see no ships. Break out the Foster France. For a mercy, you spy no Imperial troops bound for the castrum. A hawk's cry pierces a silence. Yugi is waiting. Speak with Yugi. What was the point of that? Good girl, sorted them out. Speak softly, lest the others hear us. What of the outside? Nothing. There's no there, lass. That's good, we may proceed as planned. These ones shall not soon awake, however, the others are too close to the villagers. Incapacity. Yeah. Knocking them out. <laughs> As I did, these ones is far too risky. Fortunately, a sol solution presents itself. I would have you disguise yourself as an Imperial soldier and convince them that the changing of the guard is in order. You have your pick of uniforms, they shall not protest. Right. Got me gear on. With all due care and consideration, you relieve the sleeping soldier of their uniform. You have chosen one to your liking then, excellent. I shall hide these ones where none will find them. Huh. Am I changing or what? Same gear I thought. Our sleeping beauties have been laid to rest in their bunks and while I was in the barracks I happened upon these spare uniforms in case the items in your possession are not to your liking. Yugi. This Kabuto and Teko should match the Uwagi, Hakama and Choka in your possession. And with that you have a full set. I'm sure that once you change it will seem as though it was bespoke. You will need to give the soldiers guard in the villages a proper imperial salute to complete the deception and convince them to come here where I will be waiting to deal with them. While in uniform. Right, so uh, character, army chest. Kabuto. Wagi. Karma and me boots.
Circle salute, circle salute. Is it time already? Not that I'm complaining, but I thought the others would be gone longer. There's one. Changing the guard. Is it about bloody time? Just looking at this. Arnie's making me depressed. Reminds me of when I was in there, she was pissing myself in fear. These ones will sleep soundly along with the others. With that, there are no more soldiers to trouble us. You can dispose of that accursed uniform too. It is time to guide the villagers to freedom. Right. Some as that one was really. Yeah. Those part portlets of aiming. Gayukis wasn't I, I think. Trolleys. We've done it. All right. No battles. Okay. I'll have some of that.
Listen to me, all of you. We have dealt with the Imperials for now, but you must flee this place quickly. Dealt with them? Oh no. You didn't kill them, did you? Are you mad? There's no escaping the Empire. <laughs> Running will only make it worse. To stay is to die. You know this to be true. Even if you lack the will to fight, surely you have the will to live! Or has that, too, been beaten out of you? Is this what has become of Doma? You were Lord Heon's retainer. Trained to fight without fear and obey without question. Well, we're not. We're lost and afraid. We hate this, all of this, but we can't do a damn thing to change it. And trying will only make it worse. It's a pathetic existence, but it's all we got. And when people like you come here pretending it can be different, it, it doesn't help, all right? Peace, boy. Peace. She came to help, and for that we should be grateful. Elder, your face. We all have scars. Some too many to bear. Too many battles. Too much lost, our friends, our family, even our liege. We who survived are forced to bend the knee, to sell our souls and surrender our dignity. How are we to lift our heads when this shame weighs so heavily upon us? Your courage, your resolve, they are as salt in our wounds. Should feel ashamed. If they only knew what you would do for them, my lord. You have made your plight clear, and I shall impose my will no more. But know this, brothers and sisters of Doma. For all you have suffered, for all the horror and the ignominy, you are still here. You are still alive. My lord, my lord, praise you value your life as highly as he does. As for me, I swear by all the Kami in creation that I will free you from this torment, no matter the cost. If the Imperials come for me, I will tell them we were tricked by an Ori woman. Tell them whatever you must, to keep your loved ones safe. Why would you... After everything. Also later. Right, we've got to speak with Yugi again in this year's. What have we got on this week? Oh, no, 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 no. Piety, no, who's piety? Come on, Yugi. Apologies, Albert, I was lost in thought. Hey, that two of us, Yogi. 
Mayhap they had the right of it. Mayhap we are fools by urging them to rise once more. Yet I believe, I have to believe, that in their heart of hearts they, they still... Now it's not the time. We must fight and finish what we started. I have in my possession a powerful metal medicine that befuddles the mind and memories. We must administer it to the soldiers ere they awake. The medicine will leave the soldiers confused and unable to clearly recall events. They will suspect that they fell asleep at their post and be reluctant to discuss it with others. It is not more than a temporary measure, but we dare not kill them for sake of the villagers. Tend to the last two I put to sleep, I shall see to the others. Taquan go attack or what? Back and get the other one, have I? Father, is that you? Can you hear me, mother? Where is it? There we go. So good. Medicine. I want to go home. Search for Yogi. Search 
first video game. Oh yeah. Oh, might as well get on me. Dragon. Okay. Where the hell is she? There a sec to go. Forgive me for making you search. It calms me, the sound. It helps me to remember the sway of the ocean when I close my eyes. Despite the many great and noble things I said, in truth I am not of Doma. I was born beneath the waves of the Ruby Sea. To think that you were there, that you even spoke with my mother and father. Oh yeah, yeah, we did, didn't we? They are in good health then. The knowledge is of great comfort to me. That I might have the strength to protect my home from the Empire, I left to learn the secrets of the Shinobi. Day and night we trained, ever striving to exceed our mental and physical limits. After a time, my skills were recognized, and I was dispatched to assist the Doman Liberation Front. It was then that I met Lord Kayan and his son, and their loyal samurai, Gosetsu. Good men all. Brave and true, so clear their eyes, so pure their purpose. Any shinobi would have been proud to serve them and Doma. But, in the end, I will always be of the sea. Mm, Every day, salty. I pray for my home and for the people I left behind, that they might be spared the wages of war and live in peace untouched by this madness yeah 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 I confessed yeah, yeah. this to Lord Hien once do you know what he said to me no nope. oh, idea he said good we are better for the conviction of our allies and draw inspiration from their example what is weak alone may together grow stronger Never did I lose faith in them. Even when all was lost and I led our people to Eorzea, I clung to the belief that our dream would one day be realized. But when I gazed into those eyes bereft of hope, when those broken men balked at liberty, the dream was shattered.
Uh, together we are strong, we must carry on, or it will not always be so. Together we are strong. That you remain resolute, even in the face of everything we have seen, it heartens me more than you know. Thank you for standing by this naive fool. An Imperial airship. It is bound for Doma Castle. Quickly, we must rejoin the others. Right, well, we're going to Doma Castle. Right, let's have a look. Why haven't you tuned yourself to that? House of the Fierce, I thought I had. Name. Well, we did to Name. Could have sworn I'd have tuned myself to that. Swim down, don't I? Could have sworn I'd have tuned myself. To oh no, it's not built yet, is it? Right, so I need to go. Let's look down. Wrong way, let's go the wrong way around. That's right, keep checking the map. There we go. Come, come, we must tell the others about the airship. them along with many others. Kosetsu, we spied an airship bound for the castle. Know you aught of it? Aye, that we do. The crown prince is come to Doma. We suspect this is a result of recent events in Girabani. Our defeat notwithstanding, there appears to be some concern in Garlemald that subversive elements may be rallying in other provinces. 
Though Yotsuyu governs Dodo, Xenos remains the province's anointed viceroy, and it would seem he has come to assess the current situation in person. If Xenos is here, we must seize this opportunity and kill him. Oh yeah, that's gonna be easy, isn't it? Would that it were so simple, Lady Yugiri. You may recall that we encountered Xenos at Rolga's Reach. We have seen firsthand what he can do. His power defies explanation. He faced the Alliance, the Resistance, and the Scions, and he defeated us all. Calm down, he survived Ada. and learned from the experience, it is true. But if we are to defeat him, it will not be through simple opportunism. We will require a flawless plan. We know his strengths. A prodigious swordsman, trained from childhood by the finest Imperial tutors, reputed to be without equal on the battlefield, which is why we must not meet him there. Nay, we keep to the shadows, the domain of the Shinobi, and thence we strike. You need only give me the chance. Were this but a matter of personal revenge, I would not presume to bar your path. For I myself crave that same vengeance. But to draw steel against the Emperor's son is a grave decision, and one that will shape our nation's future. Do not forget Lord Hien's word. What, that we should sheathe our swords if the people lack the will to fight? I will not squander this opportunity. If we do naught, our master's life is forfeit. Even should you succeed, Xenos's death will not win Doma her freedom. More likely, her doom. Can we defend our people against the Empire's retribution? We few against a legion? Do not be a fool, child! Yeah. Mayhap I am a fool with foolish dreams of a future that will never be. But I cannot, I will not forsake them! Calm down, look. Calm down. You hear it? Wait! What now? Okay, where is the material I wanted on it? Yeah. Bear with me a second. Right, sorry about that little jump there. Stuff to do. Put fire on. In the other room, it's getting a bit nip. Right, uh, go set so What's he got? Cut suit trousers of Amen. What trousers it's going to be then? I will not pursue her. It is for her to think on her master's words and recognize the futility of her course. Those at least are my thoughts upon the matter. Yours may be different. Should you wish to give chase, I will not buy your path. We each have but one life and it is not to be spent recklessly in pursuit of our goals. I pray she realizes this soon. Search for your glory. Where's she gone? Subaru. Where she went up to? Has she gone back to Namai, has she? Sorry, I was just pondering because I've got that other quest to go and do back at uh, Yank. No, back at the Reach, I think it is. Another major quest. Where are you? Oh, 
down there, are you? I'll get down there. Here we go. Okay, okay. Did Gusset still send you to stop me? Nope. Then you come of your own free will. I should be surprised if you agreed with my chosen course. No one else did. But it's not as fanciful as they would have you believe. Scant moments ago I received the Crown Prince's itinerary from one of our spies. It would seem that Xenos has no desire to remain in Doma any longer than necessary. He wishes to inspect the moon gates this very eve. His impatience is to our advantage. He arrived without warning and gave Yotsuyu no time to prepare. The whole castle is in a state of upheaval. To avoid any delay, he has declined a full escort and will be travelling with no more than a handful of soldiers. The Kami could not have blessed us with more auspicious circumstances. I will kill him, Albert, I will. You mean we will kill him? Or die trying, you understand the risks. Ah, oh, he beat me last time. Well, beat Albert. Not to do with me. <laughs> Forgive me, of course you do. Mayhap better than I. But are you sure? Oh, he's got a weakness for a pretty lady, Yogi, I tell you. Thank you. I cannot well express what this means to me. We have much to discuss, but we can do so on the way. Yuzuku Manor is some distance from here. We must hurry. Yuzuku then, wherever that is. The way up. Stay calm, no one knows you were here, no one knows you saw anything. No one knows you overheard two rebels plotting to kill the crown prince. You know how this ends, and they have only themselves to blame. You have to tell them you have to. Right, so where are we going? Right. Let's climb up. I came that way, didn't I? Let me make my way back up. Right, let's get on the old uh, Come. 
this off. Ooh, what's them? Stay clear of them. Apples, getting suey apples. Nope. Okay, let's way somewhere. Oh, there she is. This is far enough, so let us discuss our plan of attack. It's the trousers, won't it? Yep. Yeah. What's the plan of attack, Yogi? Xenos' itinerary is as follows. He will depart Doma Castle by ship and approach the moon gates. The Magitech field will be deactivated, allowing his vessel to pass. He will then continue on to these very docks where he and his entourage will disembark. As you can see, this art area is not ideal for an ambush, wide open, multiple avenues of escape. The manor is better suited to our needs. Let us split up and search for suitable hiding places. Somewhere around here. This location appears to be ideal for concealment. Ah, there you are. From the roof, we would have a clear view of the docks. It is settled we shall lie in wait here until Xenos arrives. As discussed, if all goes to plan, he shall fall with my first blow. If not, then the two of us will have to engage him in open combat. His escort is of no consequence, which means that we will have a two to one advantage. Nevertheless, he is not to be underestimated. Mm -hmm. I think we might have to wait till next time for that. So I'll not start this now, I shall start that tomorrow.
So, yeah, a little bit of a short one, 10 minutes early, but I don't want to get into the big battle. It could take a while. Got stuff to do, as you all know. So, hey, thanks for the views. As always, much appreciated. If you've liked it, don't forget to share, subscribe, and hit the like button. If you haven't, don't forget to hit the dislike button and leave a comment. As always, I don't give a shit. Just do, do it. Right, anyway, until next time, peeps. I'll see you there.